morning katanning. Starting with some yards today. We have five that we're trying to do. I got a little bit cocky to start the day and um, yeah, see where that gets me. I generally walk through the yard, try to be really careful. These are two abandoned houses, so uh, you know, we find bricks and different things, but someone had put a, a dog lead in there. I found another one on my first walk through, but missed this one, jammed up the mower. Uh, seems to be no long lasting injuries, but you know, just part of the deal. Yard's looking decent overall. Isaac's just doing the, the blow in here to get all the grass taken care of. We got Zach on the weed whacker for his first, uh, his first time on that. We taught him how to paint last week. Incredibly dry year. It's been over a month since we were here last time and um, you know, it's already, it's already done. If we didn't have the little uh, mower hang up, this would have been probably a 10 minute job. Got the fronts are looking decent. Got another new addition on the porch here, little uh, porch swing. So I don't know, something's happening here. The yard's not getting cut, but maybe there's progress happening. I'm not sure. Well, two down, three to go. So I said we'd get five done by 10 o'clock. It's nine o'clock now. We got set back about 15 minutes by the dog lead. We'll see. Might be about 10, might be a little later. What do you think, Zach? Probably, probably a little later than a little. 10. Zach has no faith in our abilities, but I'm gonna say it'll be 10 o'clock on the dot when we're done. Let's, let's check it out. So we'll do this one again. We'll try to do some extra cleanup. Obviously much easier than last time. Then we'll hit the one across the street for our friends with the, uh, with the recent knee injury. Let's get after it. All right. Get a little better each time here. Got this one looking really good. This was also the house with all the poison ivy you guys might remember from a few videos ago. The poison ivy is dead. A lot of it is torn down now and uh, the rest of the yard looking nice too. We'll probably visit these at least one more time in August. So um, that'll be like the final cleanup and the final transformation. But we get a little bit more detailed each time when we do it in the middle of June. You know, grass is waist high, it's a nightmare to cut, it takes forever, and then uh, as we come throughout the summer, they just get better and better and better. We try to like set them up basically for success in years ahead. This house here is a pretty good example of that. You know, the last time, you remember the grass was like above the fence basically. Um, it was really, really high. And then this time, you know, we cut the grass, which is very simple this time around. And then we started to clean up the fence. Uh, took out the extra tree that was growing up here, trying to get as many vines as we can off the house. So it's like all those little details. To me, you know, the first time it's like, oh, someone cut the grass, that's great. And then over time, we want it to actually, we want it to actually look good by the end of the year. There's the time. We did two and 40 minutes. 20 minutes for the last one, Zach. Are you starting to believe? Yes. All right, he's believing now. Last one, we're gonna do this one for our uh, realtor friends again. It's not looking too bad, just a little bit shaggy. All done, friends. Another great day of summer to serve. Let's uh, let's go, let's go check the time with Zach. Zach, what's uh? Do, do you have the time? What what time is it? It's 9:52. 9:52. Might be 10 o'clock. Easy, <laughs> easy.